Okay, so in the previous class we have discussed about the problems on discrete random variable. But when the random variable is taking all the possible values in general from minus to plus infinity, then also we need to calculate the distribution function, we need to find the mean and variance, right? So that is the case of continuous random variable. So continuous random variable is defined as a variable which takes all possible values in general from minus to plus infinity. Then in that case, the expectation of a continuous random variable is into f of x dx. And we have used this formula while proving the properties of mathematical expectations also, right? So here, if the x is defined as greater than 0, right, in a function, then that means here x is taking the values from 0 to infinity. And nothing is mentioned about the range of the variable then by default we have to take the range of the variable from minus to plus infinity. And for suppose here x is defined as x greater than 2, right? Then it is taking the values from 2 to infinity, right? Now let us see the problems on continuous random variables. Random variable x is having the density function kx e power minus lambda x for x greater than 0. Then find the value of k, mean and variance, right? A continuous random variable having the density function k x e power minus lambda x for x greater than 0, find the value of k, mean and variance, right? So to find the value of k, whatever it may be the variable, discrete or continuous, the ultimate condition is that summation p of x equal to 1 for discrete random variable and integral f of x dx equal to 1 for continuous random variable. So here we have to use the condition integral over f of x dx equal to 1. Now here x is defined from greater than 0. That means integral 0 to infinity. What is our f of x here? kx e power minus lambda x. Right? So k is a constant. Bring it outside the integral. So k into integral 0 to infinity x into e power minus lambda x dx equal to 1, right? So, if you differentiate, if you integrate this here, what is integral uv formula? So, let us consider x as u and v as e power minus lambda x. So, in your intermediate, you have learned the formula of integral uv and also in your first year, right? So, integral uv is u into integral v minus u dash means differentiation of u into again integral of v dash means integral of v into integral of v, right? So this process you have to continue until the u term becomes 1. So k into x into e power minus lambda x by minus lambda. v is here e power minus lambda x and x is here u, right? So integration of e power minus lambda x is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus differentiation of x is 1. And again integration of this term e power minus lambda x by minus lambda is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda into minus lambda from 0 to infinity equal to 1. So I have stopped the integral uv since here the u term becomes 1 here, right? Now minus lambda into minus lambda is here lambda square. So if you simplify this here, k into x into e power minus lambda x by minus lambda, right, minus e power minus lambda x by lambda square from 0 to 1 equal to 1. Now apply the limits here. If you apply the first upper limit 1, so it is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda, right, and minus e power minus lambda by lambda square, right, x equal to 1 here minus apply the lower limit. So before applying the lower limit here you have to use minus symbol. So if you apply here 0, 0 into anything is 0 and minus e power minus lambda into 0, right, e power minus 0 is 1 by lambda square. So if you simplify this here, it is k into e power minus lambda by minus lambda minus e power minus lambda by lambda square plus 1 by lambda square equal to 1. So stop chera. Now this can be written as k into x into e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus e power minus lambda x by lambda square from 0 to infinity equal to 1. Now apply the limits here. 
So, upper limit is infinity here. So, this becomes 0, this is also 0. Then lower limit, for lower limit it is minus. So, 0 into anything is 0 minus 1 by lambda square equal to 1. So, it is k into minus of minus will become plus. So, k by lambda square equal to 1 that implies k equal to lambda square. So, our density function is f of x equal to what is the density function k x into e power minus lambda x. So, lambda square into x into e power minus lambda x for x greater than 0. Now, for this density function we have to find the mean and variance. So, for continuous random variable the mean is given by the formula e of x equal to integral x into f of x dx. So, that means here integral over 0 to infinity x into what is f of x here lambda square x e power minus lambda x dx. So, lambda square is constant right. So, bring it outside the integral into integral 0 to infinity x into x is x square e power minus lambda x dx. Now, again use the formula integral u v consider this x square as u and this as v here. So, x square into e power minus lambda x by minus lambda integration of e power minus lambda x minus right derivative of x square is 2x again integration of e power minus lambda x by minus lambda is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda into minus lambda becomes lambda square plus alternatively minus and plus terms derivative of 2x is 2 right e power minus lambda x by integration of e power minus lambda x by lambda square is e power minus lambda x by lambda square into minus lambda this becomes minus lambda cube right. Then here the u term becomes constant. So, here if you have to stop the integration. Now, this is from 0 to infinity. Now, apply the limits c equal to lambda square into so 0 to infinity right if you apply the upper limit this entire term becomes 0 minus if you apply the lower limit here you have x square 0 square into anything is 0 minus 2 into 0 is 0 plus 2 into e power minus lambda into 0 becomes e power minus 0 that is 1 by minus lambda cube. So, minus 2 by lambda cube. So, if you simplify this one lambda square into 2 by lambda cube which is nothing but 2 by lambda. So, the mean of this function is expectation of x that is equal to 2 by lambda. Now, next we have to find variance. So, variance is given by the formula expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square whereas, expectation of x square when x is continuous is given as integral x square into f of x dx for 0 to infinity. Here x is defined from 0 to infinity. So, integral 0 to infinity x square into what is f of x again lambda square into x into e power minus lambda x dx. Now, again bring this constant lambda square outside the integral. So, lambda square into integral 0 to infinity x square into x is x cube e power minus lambda x dx. Now, simplify this part right. So, this becomes lambda square into again consider this x cube as u and this e power minus lambda x as v here. So, x cube into integration of e power minus lambda x is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda minus derivative of x cube is 3 x square again integration of e power minus lambda x by minus lambda is e power minus lambda x by x lambda square plus alternatively. So, derivation of 3 x square is 6 x again integration of e power minus lambda x by lambda square is e power minus lambda x by minus lambda cube minus right. Now, derivative of 6 x is 6 e power minus lambda x by integration of e power minus lambda x by minus lambda cube is lambda power 4 from 0 to infinity ok. Then if you apply the limits here if you apply upper limit the entire term will become 0 and lower limit x cube means 0 cube 0 
3 x square 3 into 0 0 plus 6 into 0 0 minus 6 into e power minus lambda x lambda into 0 is 0 e power minus 0 1 by lambda power 4. So, this is lambda square minus of minus will become plus into 6 by lambda power 4 is nothing but 6 by lambda square. So, expectation of x square is 6 by lambda square. Now, substitute in the formula of variance. So, variance of x equal to 6 by lambda square minus expectation of x whole square. See the formula here. So, what is expectation 2 by lambda? So, that is 4 by lambda square. Right? 2 by lambda whole square is 4 by lambda square. So, it is 2 by lambda square. So, variance of this function is 2 by lambda square. Now, let us go to the second problem. A continuous random variable have the function k by 1 plus x square from minus infinity less than x less than infinity. Then find the value of k and also the distribution function. So, to find the distribution function in case of discrete random variable, cumulatively we have to add the probabilistic function of the random variables. But here the formula is different, right? So, let us see first how to find the k value. So, integral f of x dx equal to 1. So, here x is defined from minus to plus infinity. So, integral minus to plus infinity k by 1 plus x square dx equal to 1 here. Now, k is constant, bring it outside. Integral minus 2 plus infinity 1 by 1 plus x square dx. Now, what is integral 1 by 1 plus x square? It is tan inverse x. I hope you remember these formulas which you have learned in your intermediate, right? So, minus 2 plus infinity equal to 1. Now, if you apply the limits here, so k into tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse of minus infinity equal to 1. So, that means k into tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus of tan inverse minus infinity is minus pi by 2. So, it is k into k into 2 pi by 2 equal to 1. So, from this k equal to 1 by pi. So, your density function is f of x equal to 1 by pi into 1 by 1 plus x square for minus infinity less than x less than infinity. Okay? Now, for this again we have to find the distribution function. So, this distribution function is denoted by capital F of x. So, while finding the distribution function for a continuous random variable, we have to write in terms of t integral over minus infinity to x. Right? So, here the limit carries from minus infinity to x here. First, suppose here x is defined from x greater than 0, then you have to take 0 to x. First, suppose x is defined from x greater than 2, then you have to take 2 to x for distribution function. Right? So, integral over minus infinity to x. So, since in the limit it is taking x, the function will also after simplifying will come in terms of x. So, consider the density function in terms of t, f of t dt. That means, you have to replace the density function by t here. So, wherever you will find the x square the density function there, you replace that by t here. So, integral minus infinity to x, right? What is your density function? 1 by pi into 1 by 1 plus x square. So, 1 by pi into 1 by 1 plus t square dt. So, replace x by t here. So, 1 by pi is constant, bring it outside. Integral minus infinity to x 1 by 1 plus t square dt, right? So, again integral 1 by 1 plus t square is nothing but tan inverse t from minus infinity to x. Now, apply the limits. Now, if you apply the limits here, 1 by pi into tan inverse of upper limit that is x minus tan inverse of lower limit minus infinity, right? So, 1 by pi into tan inverse x minus tan inverse minus infinity means minus pi by 2. 
so minus pi by 2. Okay, if you simplify this 1 by pi into tan inverse x plus pi by 2. This is 1 by pi into. So, finally, it is 1 by pi into tan inverse x plus 1 by pi into pi by 2. So, this becomes tan inverse x by pi plus 1 by 2. This is your distribution function. For x greater than, sorry, for minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. Now, how to check whether the distribution function is right or wrong? We have one relation also. So, the density function is given by the partial differentiation of the distribution function that is dou into capital F of x by dou x. If you differentiate this partially with respect to x here, tan inverse x 1 by pi is constant. So, 1 by pi into derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square plus derivative of 1 by 2 is 0. So, your density function is 1 by pi into 1 by 1 plus x square. Is it clear? So, let us see the third problem on continuous random variable. If total production is 12 million kilowatt hours, kW is kilowatt hours, determine the probability that there is a power cut shortage on any given day. If the daily consumption of electric power is f of x equal to 1 by 9 x e power minus x by 3. Daily consumption is here 12 kilowatt hours, right. If the daily consumption is 12 kilowatt hours, we have to determine the probability that there is a power cut shortage on any given day. If the function is 1 by 9 into x e, e power minus x by 3 for x greater than 0 here, right. So, here we have to find for probability of x greater than 12. But here the daily consumption power is given as 12. That means here first we have to find probability of 0 less than x less than 12. Right? So, that is integral 0 to 12 1 by 9 x e power minus x by 3 dx. Or else to get just confusion here, right? integral over 0 to 12 f of x dx. So, what is our f of x? It is 1 by 9 x e power minus x by 3, right. So, 1 by 9 is constant. So, bring it outside. Integral 0 to 12 x into e power minus x by 3 dx. Again, consider integral u v where u is x and v is here e power minus x by 3. So, this is 1 by 9 into x into integral e power minus x by 3 is e power minus x by 3 by minus 1 by 3 minus derivative of x is here 1 e power minus x by 3 by again integration of e power minus x by 3 by minus 1 by 3 is e power minus x by 3 by minus 1 by 3 into minus 1 by 3 becomes 1 by 9. So, from 0 to 12, right. So, if you simplify this, it is 1 by 9 into minus 3 x e power minus x by 3 minus 9 e power minus x by 3 from 0 to 12. So, if you apply the limits, the upper limit, right. So, minus 3 into 12 is minus 36 e power minus 12 by 3 is minus 4 minus 9 into e power minus 12 by 3 is e power minus 4 apply the lower limit, right. So, 3 into 0 is 0 and 9 into e power minus 0 by 3. So, e power minus 0 is 1 here. So, it is minus 9. So, if you simplify this here, it is 9 minus 45 e power minus 4 by 9. Again, you can re-simplify this. So, it is 1 minus 5 e power minus 4. This is your here probability of 0 less than x less than 12. But here they ask you to determine the probability that the there is a power cut shortage. When there is a power cut shortage? When it exceeds the minimum daily consumption. What is the minimum daily consumption? 12. So, that means here you have to find probability of x greater than 12. So, that is nothing but 1 minus probability of 0 less than x less than 12. So, 1 minus of, what is this 1 minus uh, 0 less than x less than 12? 
1 minus 5e power minus 4. So, 1 1 get cancelled 5e power minus 4 or you can calculate this using calcium or you can leave it like this. So, e power minus 4 right. So, in calci here for e you have to use the symbol shift ln right then e will display for there in the uh, power you have minus 4 for minus you have to use minus symbol within a bracket and press 4 equal to you are getting 0 0.0183 so that into 5 is 0 0.0916 so we are finding the probability of that that means always the probability should be in between 0 to 1 so 0 0.0916 so here how to calculate that e power minus 4 so for e in the calci you have to use shift ln and for e power minus right so shift ln within a bracket minus symbol and 4 ok so the in this way you have to use the calci so the probability that the, there is a power cut shortage means when it is a shortage x greater than 12 is 0 0.0916 because you may get a doubt that why can't we find directly probability x greater than 12 that is taking the limits from 12 to infinity here but here the clearly the condition is mentioned that the daily consumption is 12 kilowatt hours so first we have to find the probability of the 12 kilowatt hours minimum consumption when it is exceeds then 1 minus of that